Wait, what? What, what happened? How, how did I end up here? I need to check in with Jasper. Well, so this car can't work normally with the spotlight on. Good to know. No multitasking for Christine. I guess I need the tape first. This is mental. W what should I do now? We'll think about it in the car. What the... Christine? I must have hit my head too hard. It's okay. I'm just here to help. Can't be a silent observer anymore. Well, okay. Whatever. Can't be too surprised after flying whales and other stuff. But still, I don't know what to do now. Can I suggest some options for you? Mm, sure. Go ahead. You can go back to Bright City and continue to live your life in your apartment as you were living in before, independent and alone. Hmm, I see the appeal of it now, yeah. Or you can visit your parents in Woodville. They surely will host you for a while until you get it together. Hmm, sounds reasonable too. Or you can spend some time with Jasper if you know where he lives. You wouldn't mind, I'm sure. I can picture myself there for a few weeks, sure. Or finally, we can go to the Iron Coast together and figure it out while watching the ocean. Unexpected, but interesting. It's your choice. So drive wherever it feels right. Okay, it's time to decide and go somewhere. It's 
locked. I was weary of the alarms of war, exhausted by the everlasting bitterness between men. On that September day of 1945, I thought, would there ever be a true peace? A peace when walls between nations would fall, men would be in conflict only against poverty and illness, and the word unhappiness would be stricken forever from the human heart? started out as a wonderful day. All over the world, the weather was unbelievably perfect. Then it was daylight, it was the...
Mom, Dad, it's me. I have so much to tell you.